Oh, okay. My name is Bharati, but people call me Bani. Uh, most of them call me Bani. Um, the, I'm a classroom teacher and I did teach ESL also. I did teach kinder through fifth grade as a classroom teacher, but sometimes I just uh, volunteer or going to sixth and seventh grades for something when they needed me, of course, you know. And um, I did do substituting too, you know, when um, my children, I was driving around my children and all that. I did substituting even for high school and everything. Um, I have enough background with math and science to be a high school teacher too, but I love little kids. So I chose to be in elementary school. I have done many things after I retired. Um, the first three years, I volunteered at the same school that I taught because I wanted to return some of whatever little I could to the community and to the school that I worked at. I always enjoyed that school. And it I mean, I worked at a few schools, but, you know, the, the last school that I worked was where I spent the most time working or teaching. And I really enjoyed it. So I thought I'll just do my little bit of whatever I could, you know, in return. So I did volunteer there for three years. And while I was doing all this, I started a small business because with ASRS, I was um, financially feeling better, right? That I, I, there was some income coming with through ASRS. I had my social security coming, everything. So that made me get some confidence and some secure feeling financially, okay? So in my backyard, actually, if I turn the, uh, this, you will see a lot of greenery just for once, okay? Can you see all those green trees? So that's part of my business that I got into. And those are herbs I grow um and uh, sell to some asian retail stores some american too by the way you know uh, now even americans are getting used to other cuisines you know so i sell them there so i mean we planted all these plants not to get into a business but because they they're always green even in winter they may not be this green but they're still green. So we planted them some 20 years ago when we bought this home, you know, over 20 years. But then one day a friend came over and uh, when he was in the backyard, he said, he's from Pennsylvania. And he said, I see dollar bills. And then I said, are they going cuckoo or what? You know, and uh, so I, I said, what are you talking about? You know, and he goes, do you know how expensive all this is in Pennsylvania? And uh, I asked him how much it is, and he gave me a prize. And I said, wow, when I retire, I'll get into that business. And that uh, conversation happened maybe a couple of years before I retired, OK? And I did all this while I was still volunteering and everything, OK? The first five years, I was doing both this and that. But it was a very small business. So I just did it with by myself with the help of my husband. That's it. Okay, that's how little. And this involves a lot of USDA and everything. A lot. I mean, it's totally under scrutiny. Okay. So, so we did it though. And then uh, the business started growing, you know. I mean, one thing, the ASRS retirement helped me, right? I mean, if not that confidence I would have, if not for... Um, that financial security I would feel, I wouldn't go into this, you know, because I could be losing money, right? So I, I wouldn't be going into this, see? So all that really helped, you know? And now, um, you know, I started out with just Seattle, one state, the next was Utah. And of course, I sold a little in Arizona too. And then one 
by one now i'm almost i think like well every year it differs a little bit but i think now i'm in 18 states so you know i mean and i employ like about i would say it averages around four people you know sometimes five sometimes two so it's the same people though okay it's not like there's new person coming all the time and uh, they've become like family they're like extended family now you know i mean um they just take care of anything including whenever i need them to clean my they'll just say mrs Rao, i just come and do it you know they know that i'm a senior citizen and it's difficult for me so they just i mean they've become like extended family you know so um it's like it's everything about give and take so i do what i can for them and they do what they can for me and you know we become a family like you know and uh it's been doing well i do earn money i get to pay them so they can support their families and you know the most i enjoy about my business of course i'm a my husband and i we both were always gardeners otherwise we wouldn't be in this business because we enjoy nature, gardening, all of these things, okay? So you'll never see my hands nice and smooth and all that, okay? So, and um, the, in a way, I'm blessed to be with children all the time, even now, because my team that work for me, you know, their children are constantly with me, you know, taking advice about something or the other or asking me, you know, I mean, once they become like 15 or 16, they say, I want to come and work for you. And almost all the time, there's somebody or the other, their children working for me once they get to the legal age, you know, in summer, like I have one kid working right now, you know, one of my team members' sons who is of legal age now. So, you know, so once i have my team member they don't want to leave me except when they absolutely have to so i'm blessed i mean it's in a way contributed to asrs and the income i get from asrs you see so and i got to travel quite a bit too you know um all those things made my life quite fulfilling really and it's all you know because of asrs as well as social security too you know i mean all of those things do help so that's my story about retirement <laughs>